my channel and today I'm just gonna do a really really easy fall look if I look a little bit weird that might be because I'm doing a foundation Friday with on this side a foundation and on this side another foundation so if you want to see that I will definitely link it in screen and also down below the rest of my makeup I'm just gonna show because I'm only wearing foundation right now nothing else so I'm just gonna jump right in with my brows so you guys know that I do my brows with a glue stick if you haven't seen that video yet I will put it in the screen so you can watch it after this one but I just like to take a spoolie go into my glue it's kind of the same technique as the soap brows but soap doesn't really work for me so I'm using glue I just brush up my brows like the soap technique I actually never do my brows after foundation so I hope it works out because you can like get some glue on your skin and it will look really really disgusting so I brushed in the glue it's a little bit rough because I usually do my brows first but anyway so I'm just gonna make it work now I'm just gonna take a really sharp brush and a little bit of concealer so you can definitely go in with a brow pencil right away but I feel like if I do it like this I'm filling in less of my brow which makes it look more natural so I just keep it like this I'll just go in with my brow pencil Now a little bit of brow gel. Sorry if my brows look a little bit rough. I actually applied a little bit too much glue to them. So hopefully on camera it looks okay, but up close and personal, it doesn't. Um, for now, I'm just gonna move on to the eyes. I'm just applying my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So usually I always do a up close eye tutorial and then a face tutorial separate but now I'm just gonna do everything in one and I'm also gonna do the eyes not up close so let me know on a poll on the right if you guys like this pattern or two separate videos or one video and then also including the up close for today I'm gonna use the Morphe 35OM2 palette so this palette doesn't have a matte shade that is light enough for my brow bone so I'm just gonna take my NYX whipped cream and I just wanna apply this to the brow bone and I'm just taking Azueva to do a brush luxe crease I'm gonna take the shade universal and apply that to the crease And I'm also going to apply this shade to the inner and outer corner. On a Morphe 169, I'm going to take the shade Orb. And I'm just going to deepen up those outer and inner corner. And I'm taking that up pretty high, but I don't want to connect it in the center part. But I do want to blend the edge over here. Taking that previous brush and I'm just blending the edges, but again, not connecting it in the center. I'm gonna dampen my Morphe M204 brush and I'm taking the shade Pure and I'm applying this shade to the center part of the lid. All the way up. This way of making a halo eye is heavily inspired by Nikki tutorials. It is not really inspired on one specific look because it is just a really really easy look. But Nikki brings up her shadows really really high and doesn't connect in the center. And that is what I did right now. So I think it's time for a little bit of concealer underneath the eyes so I can apply my shadow there. And then I'm just gonna finish up the eyes. I'm using my good old Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair. Of course, I'm also using my Fendi Beauty Amber Matchstick. And I'm just gonna blend it all out with my Beauty Blender. I like a 
blends a little bit rough on this side. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of my MAC Fix Plus to hopefully smooth it a little bit more. I'm going to go back in with my Beauty Blender. I'm going to apply my powder underneath my eyes and I'm using my Laura Mercier Mineral Powder in Soft Porcelain. Gonna go in with my brush and orb and I'm gonna apply that all along the lower lash line. Taking a little brush and sweeping all of that powder away. Now taking my Morphe Y7 brush and the Balm Photo Balm foundation powder in lighter than light. And I'm just gonna press this into my skin. Taking Makeup Geeks contour powders on my morphe m527 i just have four shades in here and i just dip in every single one for blush i'm using my anastasia radiant blush kit and i'm gonna take the shade terrace and for highlighter today, I'm using my own brand, Meraki Cosmetics, and I'm using the shade Kion, which is just a pure white loose highlighter. I'm gonna give my face a little spritz with the Morphe Continue Setting Spray. I'm also just gonna apply a little bit to the inner corners. And also to the really, really center of the lid to give it an extra sheen. I'm just setting everything in place. Today I'm using Lily Lashes Can. And lastly for lips, I'm using the Tarte Tardis Lip Paint in Low Key. That is the finished look so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did please thumbs up this video and also make sure to subscribe because the last week of november i'm gonna upload a video every single day so if you don't want to miss that subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell again thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i will see you in my next one bye